Hi, this is Daniel. Today I would like to talk about electroplating. Some people will call it chrome plating. Why? Because the survey of this plating is called chromium. So we call it chrome plating. Um, why do people want to have this uh, chrome plating on their product? It's very easy to understand because they want to make their product looking good. Okay. Let me explain to you in two ways. The first way, for saving costs. The second way, because of the feature of material. Okay, let me explain to you. For the first way, how can we save costs? For this can opener, you can see that. The head part, you can see metal piece, right? You can see metal piece. These metal piece were done with a comb plating. Actually, this metal piece is uh, iron. So we do the comb plating for it. And you can see the cap here and also the hanging hole. You can see silver, right? Actually, this part and the cap here, they are all plastic. They are ABS. So we change the material not using the wheel metal but plastic and also we don't use stainless steel but we change to use iron with comb plating then we can save the cost because if we use stainless steel for this part and we also use wheel metal for this part and this part oh this can opener will be very expensive so by doing this we can save costs, save a lot. Second way, I just mentioned because of the feature of material. For like this, uh, for this uh, wine stopper, I take it out this part. This part is made in uh, zinc alloy. Uh, zinc alloy uh, material, okay, for making this uh, deer. For making this item, we have to uh, cast. Uh, we have to do uh, casting for this part. So what is a cast item? Cast item is you have to make a mold and then you melt uh, the zinc alloy material and then you pour into the mold and then after cooling down and then take it out and you will have the deer but the survey is very very rough so a lot of people will say oh just do the polishing but for zinc alloy or aluminum alloy even you polish many many times the survey still very rough and not shiny it doesn't like uh, stainless steel you know stainless steel you can polish and then uh, in mirror polish but for this one, cannot. And also, even you polish zinc alloy, the survey, you will find a lot of pinholes, many, many pinholes. So, by doing the comb plating, you know, comb plating actually, uh, there's a three layers. The first is copper. So when you do the copper, the copper can go all inside the pinholes and make the survey flat and then you do the nickel plating on the second the second layer nickel plating okay and then the final one the third one is comb comb plating the comb layer so actually uh, when we do the um, the white way uh, for comb plating is copper nickel and then chromium chrome so these three layers, you finish, then this is a good quality comb plating, very shiny. So this is nice part of uh -huh. Okay, so this is because of the feature. So you have to uh, do the comb plating to make it shiny. Okay, in next video, I will explain more in details for the nickel plating and comb plating. Why? because maybe your factories will lie to you that oh we did comb plating but actually not they just did nickel plating i'll let you know how to differentiate it
I hope you like this video. Please subscribe and click the bell. And you will keep receiving our video. Thank you.